is this right that it was nearly axed in its first six months? Uh, I don't know about I don't <laughs> know about I don't know about nearly axed, but look, if the man that whose idea it was originally was a bloke called Alan Bateman, and he was uh, the network program director of the Seven Network at the time, yes. so he had the key to the safe. So it was his idea. He didn't want it to die, so he promoted the bejesus out of it. If you're allowed to say that. And uh, we were trucked around to shopping centres and all of that stuff oh, and going out to meet the people and all of that. And gradually it took hold. You know, it didn't rate very well for a start. But Channel 7, the same network as we were on, originally had neighbours yeah. and axed it after whatever. Oh, wow. gave it gave it back to Grundy's, the yeah. producers who made it. And then Channel, 7, Channel 10 in Australia said, that, that thing that 7 dumped, is yeah. that available? And they said yes, and so Ten said, oh, we'll give it a go. And the rest, as they say, is history. Is history and then, yeah. you know, like a year and a half later, Seven said, oh, dear, we might have made a bit of a mistake there. So, so when, when Home and Away went to air and was struggling, they thought, no, we're not going to fall yes. by that old trick again. Let's yes. promote it yeah. and get it going. Yeah. But Seven are good at standing by things and letting them take their time to find the audience. Yeah, like neighbours. Yeah, yeah, like neighbours. Just like neighbours. <laughs> no, I'm not all saying something in another show. Sure. It had trouble. It had two years to find its feet and then it was the top rating. So I think yeah. the proof is in the pudding that you, mm. you have to just be patient. For people to find a show, to make it a part of their viewing you know, life, 